Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Harry Langdon. I'm a celebrity photographer and I'm going to bring you another session that I did with a, a beautiful woman named Angelina Jolie. And uh, the session that I did when she first began, and she was only 16 years old, believe it or not, and what went into the shooting, what I had to tell her, what I didn't have to tell her, and more about her persona and how confident she was. So, you know, the, the beginning of the session to begin with is we got a call from John Boyd, who's a very famous uh, actor himself, very successful, and his daughter is, was Angelina, and he, he called and asked if we would sort of do him a favor and photograph her because she had some film parts that were possibly coming up. She needed still pictures for those to, for casting sessions and to show the, the, um, the agents and all. So I said, well, yeah, we've never, I'd never seen her before. There was no Google to look at her. And I just had to just base my decision on what he said. He said, she's a very confident young woman. So we booked the shooting session and we never know quite to expect when we've never met somebody before and we, they're not in, in the public eye, they're not on TV or anything. And so the doorbell rang and sure enough, there was Angelina Jolie. And she was just kind of comfortable in her own clothes that she felt good with. This is an outfit that she probably wears this she feels comfortable just to go out in public with. And remember, she hadn't done any films yet. This was, these are only the preliminary pictures that were being done so she could show the casting people. And so uh, I thought, this is really kind of, kind of cute shot. And I thought, I had no idea what we're going to be able to get out of Angelina. Now, there's a big responsibility in photographing somebody when they're getting started. Because if they don't get the parts, sometimes they'll call and complain to me that we didn't get a very good shooting session. But okay, I thought I'd take a chance. And, and John Boyd seemed to be real confident in what we're going to be able to get with his daughter. And so this is an, one of the other beginning shots that we did on her. Kind of cute street look and real comfortable, kind of a trendy look. And the first thing that I noticed was how confident she was. Uh, when she came out of the dressing room, she, she, people, actors have a certain stride and a certain <clears throat> presence about them that you can detect whether you're gonna be able to get a successful still picture on them. So, so she came out, she was real confident and she just started wanting to have fun with this. So uh, I, uh, had her stand in front of the camera, all I had to do was tell her to move right, stage right, st stage left. And uh, I began to notice that she had a tremendous presence about her, that the, the camera somehow or another mystically seems to be able to capture. And I could see it when I was behind the camera. I thought, wow, we're getting some really great expressions. Of this girl. And she doesn't even know what she's doing. I didn't have her to tell to smile or, or do whatever. So this was very refreshing. She seemed, seemed to have something called it. She had it potentially to be able to be a real success in front of a film camera. So I went on doing different shots and got some kind of cute, trendy young, young looks on her. And these are her, her comfy clothes that she brought in. By the way, she brought her whole wardrobe in, in a backpack, which I thought was a kick because a lot of my clients come in with suitcases full of clothes and just spilling over and thinking the clothes would make the pictures come out better and all that. But this young lady was so confident that she felt like she could, could uh, convince the casting people just with these real simple clothes that wouldn't upstage her, as they say. And because the clothes can sort of get in the way of uh, their expressions and their beauty. And obviously, Angelina was a beautiful young woman. I could tell that what we're getting in the camera 
uh, was was really going to be very very successful. By the way, my st the studio that I was doing the session in was a very large studio, my studio on Beverly Boulevard, and in the studio we have um, obviously a lot of lights, and these umbrellas, by the way, are are used to reflect the light properly. You know, I usually use strobes. The strobe lighting freezes people's actions, freezes their smile and all. So uh, this is, uh, I just thought you might get a kick out of seeing it. Uh, the interior of my one of my studios. The studios are usually designed to be big enough so an actor or a dancer can run around and jump up and down and feel very carefree. Yeah, that's the object behind still sessions is to get a carefree, confident look out of the subjects. And so what I did with Angelina, I used both 35 millimeter uh, cameras, in case you're interested in the technology. I also used two and a quarter, two and a quarter film cameras, by the way. This was before digital had come out. And so I thought you might be interested in that these were all shot on film Okay, so back to Angelina. So, okay, here we're getting some really great expressions on her. So I said, Angelina, what more do you have in your wardrobe? So she came out with this, you know, it's kind of a pretty sort of a glamour look. And, and she did her own posing, by the way. Uh, it's dangerous sometimes for uh, a man or a photographer to tell a person how to pose. It's better if they have their own instinctive posing the techniques and that only comes by the director allowing them to exude whatever ideas that they have as far as posing. And so I thought, well, we, we'll expand our expression level because these pictures are going to be sent to casting people. The casting people don't want to just see cute shots that she wears, clothes she wears on the street. They probably want to see her looking more in a more mature sort of a look. So she did her hair down like this. It's kind of, kind of a glamour look, I guess you could say, for a 16-year-old. And here's another version of that shot. That's sort of, sort of wild and crazy hair. And so I thought, okay, that's good. But I thought, we've got to really get some shots that are really have high impact doing her a favor. So I thought, let's see how far we can go with Angelina in front of the camera and see if she, she, some subjects start choking up because we're <laughs> they just can't come up with the right expressions and poses. But Angelina, we just kept on going with Angelina. She, here's another pretty nice pose here, just a real confident horizontal shot and she was you know, lounging around, and I thought this is really a great shot. And so you know, that was just one more great shot. So we, let's see how much more glamorous we can get with Angelina. So here's another one where she's pretending she's a movie star, but it was just kind of her form of glamour. And I thought it was pretty successful, you know, for her. And so uh, we wanted to keep on going, and let's see what more Angelina could, should could come up with. By now, she's feeling like we're on a roll. She, she could tell that we're really getting really good shots. And so when we reach that point in the shooting session, it just keeps amplifying better and better shots, one after the other. It's another one that uh, I thought was really kind of that glamour with holding your hair up. and. I thought that was really a beautiful shot on her. And I said, what more do you have in your wardrobe besides scarves, Angelina? She said, well, I brought a bathing suit. Let's try it, let's put a bathing suit on. So we did, We, the, my assistant and myself, she put a bathing suit shot on and quite often with the grown-up girls <laughs> will wet their hair down and it looks like they just got out of the pool and it's all kind of sultry looking. And so what we did was she came out with a bathing suit, with a bikini top, wet her hair down, and she, she on her own started uh, messing with her hair and 
looking kind of sultry, you know, and so this is another version of that. So I thought she was really doing good on her posing and her expressions, and so we went on with that, and um, these are a real high impact shots for a young woman that really great for acting roles. And I thought this was a very, very successful look on Angelina. And I was pretty stoked that we're getting great shots on Angelina, who also had a really a beautiful figure, 16 year old, but just, you know, kind of nubile and really alluring. So she did these poses on her own, you know, kneeling on the floor and uh, and we started having so much fun doing these poses and things that it just was turning out to be a really, really very, very successful shooting session with Angelina Jolie. And these uh, photos, by the way, were a great help in her getting her film work going. And I found out later that she um, immediately got a film role and started her film career at 16, so I thought this was really hot shots on Angelina. And so this is Angelina Jolie's session and she obviously had it, whatever it takes, that term, you know, that it takes to, to be able to get in front of a camera and keep the audience's attention. And there's, you cannot pay enough money to, to get it. The clothes don't get it. You have to have a certain confidence. I found it comes with uh, women taking up ballet dancing and you know practice even modeling and walking and and working and acting uh, workshops to to get a confidence in front of the audience. And so that uh, the the succession was extremely successful. And what we did was afterward. Um, we found out that her father was real happy with how the pictures came out, thank goodness. And so that's about the, to summarize, this was not the average shooting session that we do on, let's say, a 16-year-old. But fortunately, Angelina pulled it off really well, and it was a very successful session. I hope you learned something from what I've told you. And uh, if you have, if you like these uh, celebrity photo sessions and, and my talks about them, please comment on them on my uh, social networking on Facebook or whatever, and give me a thumbs up. And I'll try to comment back to you when I get your comments. So thanks again for tuning in again. I look forward to seeing you again on the next Celebrity Photo Session. You have a wonderful day and stay healthy, and I love you all. Okay, bye.